Hello everyone, in this video, today we are going to start with the new chapter, chapter number 12, that is ratios and proportions, right? So, first of all, in this video today, we are going to discuss what are ratios. We will try to understand that what does ratios mean actually, okay? So, we will learn what is a ratio, use of ratios and how to simplify the ratios and then we will come to proportions in the next video, okay? So, what is a ratio? Students, uh, till now we have done the comparison of two quantities by subtraction only. We compare like uh, by how much means if I will ask you uh, how much you got more than your friend how many marks you got more than your friends so this was the comparison by how much and how you do this comparison by the subtraction only right but now we will learn a new type of uh, comparison we will compare two quantities by the comparison and with the help of ratios so ratio is what ratio is a comparison of two numbers or two quantities with the help of division okay so ratios can be written in three ways you can see first one is a to b a is to b and then a double dot b you can see i have written here so this is the second way how to abbreviate the ratios or we can write it as a upon b as we write it in a fraction and uh, note students that here b can't be equal to zero because a upon b means a divided by b and you know very well that we can't divide any number by zero this we have done earlier also right so any number divided by zero is never defined it means the second term of the ratio can't be zero okay so a upon b and make sure while writing it into a fraction numerator should be the first number and denominator should be the second number and ratio is ordered numbers right you can't write it a ratio b and b ratio a these are not the same thing okay just take care of this thing first number should be written at first place and second number should be written at second place so order we can't change the order of the ratios okay so we can express uh, while writing ratios these are expressed in the simplest form how to convert it into simplest form you can simply write ratios in a fraction and we have done that how to write a fraction into simplest form so we will also discuss it here and then again after converting fraction into its simplest form we can write it in the ratio form so just check how we use the ratios so ratio of boys and girls in a class are 12 to 11 so what does it mean it means that for every 12 boys you can find 11 girls to match now there can be in class there can be just 12 boys and 11 girls so for every 12 boys we have 11 girls but if we make a group of if we make two two groups so 12 boys and 12 boys 11 girls and 11 girls there can be 24 boys and 22 girls also even then ratio will be same 12 ratio 11 because it's the simplest form and then again there can be a huge class as well there can be 120 boys and 110 girls also because when you will make it in a groups for every 12 boys you will find out 11 girls right so 12 is to 11 doesn't mean these are the real quantities this is just a ratio this is just a comparison okay now just see the second example ratio of length and width of a rectangle is 4 is to 1 so it simply it simply can be like this that length is 4 and breadth is 1 but it can be different also right so what is the ratio of triangle of length and breadth what will be the ratio of length and breadth if it's 8 cm long and 2 cm wide 
then still if you will divide 8 divided by 2 will give you 4 upon 1 right so again still ratio will be 4 is to 1 because for every 4 centimeter you can find 1 centimeter to match okay so these are not the particular dimensions this is just the ratio this thing you need to understand so next example the ratio of cats and dogs at my home is 2 is to 1 so what does it mean does it mean that I have two cats and one dog no what does it mean it means we don't know how many dogs and how many cats are there at my home but all we know is that if they will start fighting for each dog there will be two cats to fight right so for every two cats I have one dog at my home so it may be four cats and two dogs it may be six cats and three dogs it may be ten cats and five dogs right so still ratio will be two is to one so this is not the exact number of cats and dogs this is just a comparison now just check how we will simplify the ratios so how we can simplify uh, the ratios which we have discussed in the last slides thus all were in simplest form so but how to compare uh, how to express ratios into fraction what will we do i told you earlier also we can write it in the fraction form again make sure first term should be denominator and second term of the ratio should be denominator first term should be numerator and second term must be denominator right so then just check how to simplify ratio so if we have 12 cats and 6 dogs so can you find uh, the simplify ratio what can we do how can we simplify the fraction 12 upon 6 so just find out the highest common factor so we will divide both numerator and denominator by the greatest common factor okay so 12 and 6 highest common factor we find is 6 so we have divided numerator by 6 and denominator by 6 so we will get 2 upon 1 so this means the ratio is 2 is to 1 so now next question with me is if a person's arm is 80 centimeter and he is 2 meter tall you need to find out the ratio of length of his arm to his total height now just check students uh, both the length of the arm and the height of the person both units are not same so first of all while comparing uh, comparing any two numbers the units must be same you can't compare centimeters with meters right so means we have to first of all convert the units so we need to convert both numbers into same unit either centimeter or meter so we will discuss both ways so 80 centimeter and 2 meters are here we have to convert them into same units so let's try first of all we will convert it into centimeters and again just check the first we need to find out ratio of what the first thing we were asked is ratio length of his arm so numerator should be arm length to his after 2 it is total height so height should be in the denominator right so first of all 80 centimeter upon 2 meter we will convert and then we will simplify so 2 meter means 2 into 100 centimeter you know very well that 1 meter equals to 100 centimeter we have done the conversions already and I hope all of you know how to convert okay so 80 centimeter upon 200 now we can simplify them now because both are in same unit so if you will divide both of them by 40 you will get 2 upon 5 or you can simply do the cutting as you know how to do the cutting okay now let's convert into meters now again arm length upon height so it was 80 centimeter and 2 meter so if we will convert centimeter into meters we have we need the same units right 
whether both are centimeters or both are meters so now we are converting centimeter into meters so how to convert centimeter into meters 80 divided by 100 will become meters so 80 divided by 100 will give you 0 0.8 so now you have to convert the decimals also so how you will do it 0 0.8 was there so to make both numbers integers we multiply both numerator and denominator by 10 so 0 0.8 into 10 will give us 8 and 2 into 10 will give us 20 here in this step what we have done we have divided both numerator and denominator by 10 or if we have done decimals also you can simply remove the decimal of 8 and 10 will be multiplied in denominator so it will become 8 upon 20 and the simplest form will be same answer will be same 2 upon 5 means it will be 2 ratio 5 so remember students we have to write it in the ratio form as well so ratio was asked so it will be 2 ratio 5 this will be your answer in the end okay now next is again just check numerator and denominator if both don't have the same units it will be easier for us uh, in the previous example we have uh, done both ways we have converted both units smaller one also and the bigger one also but it is advisable to convert into smaller units so that we can uh, uh, we can uh, we can simply and we do need not to work with decimals okay so again just see some more examples if we have 3 centimeter upon 12 cent 12 meter so it will be advisable to convert meters into centimeters right so when we convert 12 meter into centimeters it will become 1200 centimeters so 3 upon 1200 in the simplest form it will become 1 upon 400 and we have to write it in ratios as well at the end if ratios are asked okay then again 2 kg 15 grams so 2 kilograms 1 kilogram equals to 1000 grams so 2 kilograms will become 2000 grams right so 2000 grams and 15 grams now just check both units are same so when you will do the cutting you will got you will get uh, 400 upon 3 next is 5 feet 70 inches so 1 feet equals to 12 inches so 5 multiplied by 12 converted into inches now so 60 upon 70 now both units are same so if uh, you will divide both numerator and denominator by 10 you will get 6 upon 7 again in the last 2 grams 8 grams again just check units are already same so of course if units are already same we need not to convert any we need not to need not to worry about converting them we just have to divide both numerator and denominator by the highest common factor and we will get when you will divide it by 2 you will get 1 upon 4 okay so let's see some more examples 8 upon 24 what will be the simplest form here you can divide both numerator and denominator by 8 and it will become 1 upon 3 40 upon 20 again divide by 20 uh, sorry divide by 40 and you will get 1 upon 5 then 12 upon 50 highest common factor is 2 so 2 6 are 12 and 2 25 are 50 then the highest common factor was 9 so when you will divide by 9 you will get 3 by 2 and then again highest common factor was 9 when you divide numerator and denominator by 9 you will get 3 upon 1 okay so this was all about ratios main thing is what is ratio ratio is comparison by division and uh, to find out ratio of two units two uh, quantities units must be same and again 
प्लीज यू हैव टू मेंटेन द ऑर्डर ऑफ रेशो ओके फर्स्ट नंबर न्यूमिनेटर सेकंड नंबर डिनोमिनेटर फर्स्ट नंबर शुड बी रिटर्न एट द फर्स्ट प्लेस एंड सेकंड नंबर शुड बी रिटर्न एट द सेकंड प्लेस ओके यू कैन चेंज द प्लेस ऑफ रेशोज यू कैन चेंज द ऑर्डर ऑफ रेशोज सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट रेशोज थैंक यू एंड हैव ए नाइस डे